So let's go ahead and drag this all the way back down to where we had our original sphere, and let's go back to our moose head. And we can undo back to get rid of the RGB painting we were doing. Uh, another thing you need to be aware of with Sculptures Pro mode is it does respect masking. So if I, again, if I hit, we made this a separate polygroup here. So if we go ahead and hold down Control and mask out this tip of this antler right here, hit Control W, that'll give us a new polygroup here. Then we can hit W, Control Tap, this area just to isolate this polygroup as a mask. Hit Q to go back into draw mode. Maybe switch over to snake hook, B, S, H. And now we can use snake hook on just this area and it will respect our masking. So for example, I can take this antler and I can wrap it around and through my mesh and it won't affect this, uh, this mask mesh at all. If I control drag to unmask my object and I try to do that again, as I drag through the mesh, it's gonna start tessellating and warping the underlying geometry. If I hold down shift and smooth, and let's change our undivided ratio back up to 1.25 here. So I want to simplify this geometry as I go. You're going to see it'll smooth. If we just want to smooth just this blue part here, again, we can hit W, control tap this blue part, go hit Q to go back into draw mode. And now we can just shift smooth. Or we can go here and inflate, and it'll just inflate this blue polygroup because it's unmasked. Now you don't have to have a polygroup, you can just mask an area, invert that mask, and do the exact same thing. So go back to snake hook here and do whatever you need to. And you may be saying to yourself, well I remember there's a brush setting, so if we take our brush menu over here and we grab this white dot and we throw it on this left side here. If you go down here to modifiers, oh, I'm sorry, auto masking, you're going to see there's a mask by polygroups. If we turn this more than zero, you're going to see we're going to lose sculptures plus mode. So we're able to mask an area and let's turn that back down to zero. And you see Sculptors Plus mode comes back. So we're able to mask an area and use Sculptors Pro mode, but we can't use any auto masking in our brushes and still use Sculptors Pro mode. Again, if we do mask by polygroups up to 100, if we go to inflate and say, you know what, I just want to inflate this blue one, so I'm going to make my auto masking mask by polygroups on my brush up to 100, it's just going to turn off Sculptors Pro mode altogether. It'll still mask by polygroup. You're going to see as I start inflating this blue one, it's going to leave the green one alone because that's the first one I touched. However, it's not dynamically tessellating at all. Same thing with back face masking. So we turn this mask by polygroups down to zero. And let's say I go to my clay tubes brush and I start sculpting and I go to the back. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So I'm sculpting with my clay tubes brush and I go to the back. You see it's going all the way through my mesh. It is dynamically subdividing so I can still make my brush size smaller and have it dynamically subdivide. But if I go through here and I'm sculpting and it's like, I thought this was thinner, sorry. Make it really big, I start sculpting through here and it's grabbing the back end of my geometry. I can go over here and turn on back face masking and now it's gonna ignore any back faces back here so I don't need to worry about that. However, it's not gonna dynamically tessellate my object because we're using auto masking on my brush and it's went ahead and grayed out my Sculptures Pro. So just something to keep in mind you can use masking all you want, but you can't use any auto masking in your brushes. You also can't use any visibility. So right now I'm able to use my snake hook brush and have this masked. If I want to, I can hold down control shift, control tap to mask this, control shift to bring everything back, and then control tap my document to invert that mask. And now I can use my snake hook. And if you wanted to do that all manually, you can go down here to the masking and you can see invert my mask and all that good stuff, but that's the hotkey for that. So here I'm able to use masking. However, if I just want to move this one around and disregard the rest and thinking I can use visibility, if I hold down control shift, tap this polygroup to isolate it and then try to use Sculptors Plus mode, you're gonna see mesh is partially hidden, Sculptors Plus mode is disabled. If you tap off, it's gonna turn Sculptors Plus mode off by default. So just one more thing you need to keep in mind, you have to have your entire mesh visible and you can use masking, but you can't use any auto masking in your brushes.